Hey friends, tonight we are checking into Disney's Grand Floridian Resort. I am so excited to stay here. It is so beautiful and I can't wait to show you guys our room because we're staying in a two bedroom grand villa and it is immaculate. So we're gonna do a full room tour and then walk around the resort and take in all of the amenities. Anywho's, let's go do this. I remember a long, long time ago, I used to take the ferry boat over to the Magic Kingdom. I used to stare at the Grand Floridian Resort, and I used to think, wow, I wonder what it's like to actually stay there. And I'm so thankful that I've been able to have the opportunities to stay here. This isn't my first time staying here. I've stayed here before in the past, and every single time I come here, I'm just in awe, and I'm always just like, wow. We are all checked in, so we're gonna go take all of our stuff up to our room, and I'm gonna give you the grand room tour. And like I said, this is a two-bedroom villa, and it is massive. I cannot wait to show you. And then we're gonna come around and just kind of enjoy the resort. Disney's Grand Floridian has multiple buildings you can stay at, and we're gonna be staying in the villas, which is Disney Vacation Club right here. See, you are here, and right here is the main building that is like the main lobby itself where they have uh, like the gingerbread house, and it's so beautiful in there. And then they have tons of other buildings where you can stay, like Sugarloaf, and they also have two pools. They have this pool right is right here, the beach pool, and then the courtyard pool. So we're kind of located right next to everything and I like that. There is also plans for another Disney Vacation Club building here at the Grand Floridian and I'm not too sure when that's supposed to happen but we're just going to be in the regular Disney Vacation Club building that's always been here. Even though it's not the main lobby, this lobby for the Disney Vacation Club building is so beautiful. I love the Penguins water fountain right here, and it looks like it's under construction a little bit. You can see some tarp, but it goes all the way up. I love it. Our room is located on the fifth floor, so we're gonna have to take the elevator all the way up. And they still have a lot of the Christmas decorations still here, and it's okay because it's so pretty. I like staring at them. I already miss Christmas though. There is six floors in this building. So we're on the fifth floor. So we're almost to the tippy top. And look at how beautiful it is. This is what I showed you actually when we first walked in the lobby. We're gonna look down now. There's the fountain. Also, I wanna point out the room that we got is a lake view, but it's also a theme park view. And I'm pretty sure a firework view too. We'll have to see later on tonight if we can see the fireworks, but I'm pretty sure we can see them from our balcony. Our room number is 1518 if you ever want to put a room request in and I cannot wait to show you guys. We'll go right on in here. Okay, wow. This is a lot to take in. I'm not too sure if I should go left, right, or straight. I mean, there are so many options to start at. As soon as you walk in the door, you have one bathroom and bedroom this way, then you have the main living room area and the kitchen, and then you have another bathroom and bedroom right that way. So I think we'll start like in the kitchen and look at the table they got in here. Isn't that so nice? So fancy, I feel. <laughs> I like this artwork on the wall. It's a little hidden Mickey with Grand Floridian plates and Dumbo too. You have a nice little ice bucket area here. I don't know what else to call it. I just seen there was an ice bucket there, so it's a good ice bucket area. They have a dishwasher, a fancy sink, a full stove, a microwave, a fridge. The fridge is fully stocked with everything we need. And yeah, I mean, this is fully equipped though. You have everything, like you have coffee mugs, you have pots and pans. You can bake a cake in here if you wanted to. I like it. <laughs> this is really, really cool. I could live here. My favorite thing about this room is probably the view and the bathtub, which I'll show you the bathtub later. But now we're gonna move along to like the living room space. And this is actually so beautiful. Right next to the kitchen, they have the living room area and it has two beds in here. They have the day bed in there and then they also have another bed that you can pull down right here. And I love Mickey and Minnie over here. Isn't that so beautiful? That is amazing, but we have to check to see what the artwork is behind the day bed here. <laughs> I love these. Oh boy. Oh wow. That is so beautiful. I love it. This is really, really awesome. I might want to sleep here tonight. <laughs> now we got to see what's underneath the TV here. 
Oh, wow. Oh, Mary Poppins. This is, wow. Stay awake. Don't rest your head. Don't lie down upon your bed. While the moon drifts in the skies, stay awake. Don't close your eyes. Seriously, having those two beds right there is cool enough. And I'm shocked at how many people can actually sleep here, comfortably sleep here. And we're not even talking about closet size because those are bedrooms on their own. When we first walked in, I said you can go to the left or the right, and they both take you to separate bedrooms. Now, this one over here is the main bedroom. So we're going to start here, and it has its own bathroom too. And look at how beautiful it is. Holy moly. I love it. I also love how there's furniture in every single room. Like they have like a little chair or something. This is so glamorous. And like I said, look at the closet. It's like another bedroom. <laughs> it seriously is like a whole nother bedroom. Oh, and you get bathrobes. Fancy. Oh, ho, ho, ho. This absolutely had to happen. The second I saw those bathrobes, I was like, I need to put one on. And I look so fancy. Fancy smancy. But seriously, you could actually like lay down and actually take a nap in here. And it comes with some extra pillows and blankets. So you could probably fit a good like 15 people in this room. Well, not in this room, in this uh, like room itself. Between two bedrooms and the two beds that are in the living room, the extra closet spaces. Definitely can sleep a lot of people. My favorite thing is how you can close the door. And like I said, you got like another you got like a whole bedroom in here. This is bigger than some of the bedrooms I had growing up. Also, I do love the headboards for the beds. They're actually all different. So this one is a different one than the other one on the other side. And the other room has two beds in it. But I do appreciate the lights in the main bedroom. Look at these right here. And you can actually control them on this little button over here. And they actually dim and change. Look at that. That is so nice. So, so uh, like beautiful and elegant. Now, right next to the main bedroom is the main bathroom. And take a look at this tub. <laughs> it is so beautiful. It's a jacuzzi tub. And wow, that is so awesome. Definitely fitting for the Grand Floridian. And you have a little kitchen sink area. There's actually four different sink areas. Well, five different sink areas in here if you count the kitchen. So plenty of places or spots to actually get ready. And this also has a gigantic walk-in shower. Like gigantic walk-in shower. Hold on. Like when I say walk-in, like... <laughs> this shower is huge. And... Why do they have these actually in here? You figure, I mean, you're staying at the Grand Floridian. No one's taking those home. But honestly, look how big this shower is. And you can hang your clothes up. <laughs> you're probably hearing a big echo because we're standing in a shower, but uh, this is where we actually walked in, was right there. So you got to look over to the right. This was, this was to the right. This is the other kitchen sink area. And then they got some panels over here. I don't know if these are more closets. Oh, it's a washer and dryer. Look at that, fancy. What's in here? Oh, another uh, closet. Now this one you can't really fit in. I mean, you can sleep if you were standing up. Oh, is there an attic up there too? Another thing that I appreciate, especially if you're staying here and you're sharing this room with somebody else, they have doors on the hallways here so you can actually have a little privacy in your own like special spot. So if we go over to the other like bedroom, you can shut this door and kind of like have like your own privacy or your little area there. But we're actually going to go in so I can show you. Look at this. Oh, we got a nice little desk area right here. This is the other kitchen sink. Well, not kitchen sink, bathroom sink. And they have a uh, stand-up shower on this side. And then they have a bathtub on this side. So definitely lots of places to take showers. Three, three spots to actually take a shower or bathe. That's pretty impressive. And holy moly, we have another big closet. This one is a very long closet. Look at this long closet right here. Now this one really can't be another bedroom, but you could, oh, we got more bathrobes. <laughs> oh, they're definitely really spoiling us here. Oh, they also have dry cleaning. 
That's very fancy. Some some dry cleaning service here. <laughs> but yeah, we got bathrobes, we've got dry cleaning. Very, very fancy. And this is the other room. Like I said, it's got two beds in it. And look at the headboards here. This is what I was talking about. And I love these vaulted ceilings here. These are so beautiful. Oh, I wonder if this is, oh no, these are just drawers. I thought this maybe was like another uh, like day bed, but it's not. So yeah, you can see it is very nice here. The Grand Floridian is very pretty. Now I want to show you guys the balcony because remember I said this was my favorite part about this uh, room and it actually has three balcony doors so you have your own separate like balcony en uh, entrance uh, in each of the rooms and then in the living room. So we're going to go back out to the living room so I can show you guys that like main balcony area. I love how I'm still walking around the bathrobe. <laughs> And isn't this like so massive like you kind of just walk and walk you can literally like probably just walk around in circles in here And here is the balcony wait till you see this view Look at that a view a space mountain the monorail the contemporary you can watch the ferry boats going back and forth this is amazing and look how large the balcony itself is i mean this is one side so this is the main uh bedroom then this is the living room area and then it goes all the way down there to the other bedroom this is such a huge room like i am shocked like oh <laughs> and it's so beautiful what a view though man oh man i wish we could see a sunrise or a sunset but i don't think we can here i think the sun is setting on the other side of this building but that would be beautiful and i'm pretty sure we can see the fireworks right there yeah, because right there is Space Mountain, so the fireworks are shot off behind Magic Kingdom. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to see them from here. People are probably looking up here with me, with my bathrobe over my clothes, wondering what's this guy doing, filming everything. But it's just so nice. Ooh, you can also see one of like the, uh, the Lake Patrol out there flying around. You see that boat flying around right there? Because you can rent pontoon boats and actually go out there and just explore Seven Seas Lagoon. And those guys are in charge of keeping sure like people don't go into spaces where they're not supposed to go. I love renting a boat here. It's so amazing and just go around in circles. And did you know that one of these islands right here was supposed to be another resort and another like apartment for Walt? It was going to be like a New Orleans uh, resort, I believe. Oh, you can see the monorail going by the Polynesian bungalows too. That's TTC right over there. Out of all the resorts that I've stayed at, I feel like this is probably the most elegant. Like it's so classy and I love like the white walls. It's very clean, very fresh. And I love the view itself too. And it's really, really nice. Like always thinking about staying at the Grand Floridian, it kind of is what it, you know, you would think it is. Like very, very classy. Uh, they don't have the TVs and the mirrors here. I remember staying here last time and I think it was just a regular studio and they had a TV in the mirror and I thought that was really, really fancy. But the uh, like uh, Crawford bathtub, that is really nice. And all the furniture, all the decor, it's beautiful. They also have a room service menu. Look at that. The Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. Anytime cocktails. They have a Chipotle Blood Mary and Grand Mimosa. And then they've got breakfast and entrees, steak and eggs, the Grand Breakfast. Wow. I mean, this is all out. They have entrees, the buttermilk fried chicken, a lobster burger, a New York grilled steak. Steak. This is really, really fancy. I don't know how much this costs. I mean, I know the entree prices are there, but I think you have to pay extra for them to deliver it to your room. They also have bottle services as well. Now, I think we're actually gonna head out and go explore the resort a little bit. I wanna go show you where like the pool is, the main lobby, and then we have uh, dining reservations at Narcoosie's, one of the restaurants here at the Grand Floridian. There are three sit-down restaurants at the Grand Floridian. They have the Grand Floridian Cafe, they have Narcoosie's, and they have Citrico's. Victorian Albert's is another one, but it's not open yet. So right now, they have three sit-down restaurants you can actually eat out, and soon to be four when Victorian Albert's it opens wait five restaurants because they have 1900 park fair that's not open yet either so five sit down restaurants at one resort i think that's the most i don't think any other resort has five sit down restaurants that is mind blowing all right now let's go explore a little bit explore the resort 
I'm excited to eat at Narcosis. I haven't eaten there in a while, and it's actually a really nice restaurant. I'm wearing my bathrobe. I just realized I'm still wearing my bathrobe. I gotta go back up to the room. I can't believe I did that. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard right now because I'm sitting here talking about Narcoosies and I'm wearing my bathrobe about to walk through the lobby at the Grand Floridian. <laughs> there we go. That is much better. We'll set that right there. <laughs> I have not laughed at myself that hard in such a long time. It would have been so funny if I just made it like all the way out and I'm just walking around the grounds. I mean, it's not, it, I mean, it's funny because I'm wearing the bathrobe on top of my clothes. So I look absolutely ridiculous and I really didn't notice it until I was in the elevator and I started talking about Narcoosies and I seen the screen and I was like, <laughs> uh, but it was hysterical. One thing that's really cool that I got to do was actually stay here during the NBA bubble. During the shutdown, the NBA was actually here at Walt Disney World, and the Grand Floridian was shut down because all the NBA players were practicing and staying here, and I got to stay here during that, and we weren't allowed, like, anywhere in the resort. We were only allowed over on this section of, like, Disney Vacation Club, and they had gigantic walls going around here, so you actually couldn't see over it, and you couldn't see any of the players, and it was really nice, and they actually had a barber shop right in the middle of the Grand Floridian where some of the NBA players can get their hair cut. It was really, really cool. You can check out that video. I'll put that in the description too because that was actually really awesome. When's that ever going to happen again? I also used to be kind of afraid to come walk around the Grand Floridian because I feel like I would be like underdressed, but this is like people's vacations. They're walking around in shirts and sandals and stuff like that. So a lot of people have actually told me that in the like, past that they don't like come in here because they feel like they're like underdressed, but don't ever feel that way at all because like I said, this is Disney World. It's a vacation destination and there's beaches and people are just having a good time here. Now, certain restaurants do have a dress code and stuff like that, so you can't walk in with like flip-flops and stuff like that but they're not like that strict i think we're gonna actually head into the main building here i'm sure the gingerbread house and the christmas tree is still up yeah since it, the, the holidays actually just passed oh look at this you got a nice little chessboard right here i've never even seen this before since we're gonna be eating at Narcoosie's tonight, I don't wanna get anything to eat, but I could go for a coffee maybe. So maybe we'll head over to Gasparilla's, which is the quick service over here, get ourselves a coffee, maybe a gingerbread single too. A gingerbread shingle, shingle. <laughs> I love the fact that they have photo pass photographers in here like for the Christmas tree and they also have a backdrop on the second floor up here that actually has a photo pass photographer as well and I don't think that has anything to do with Christmas. I asked because I was curious how long they were going to keep the gingerbread house and the Christmas tree up since Christmas is already over and they said that it's probably like in January sometime with the first week of January. I think that's really awesome that people get to come here and still get to see like the gingerbread house and the Christmas tree after Christmas and they get to uh, experience all for a while. I mean, it is so beautiful. Look at it in here, like absolutely breathtaking. And I always wanted to stay like inside the main lobby. This is all club level right here. So these rooms are very, very expensive. My friends actually stayed here and uh, yeah, Princess Diana stayed up there. It just dawned on me, I don't know why I'm going all the way out to Gasparilla's to get a coffee when I'm staying here and I have a coffee pot in my room and I got French vanilla creamer, but I want to show you guys the quick service area and also I want to show you around the grounds because it is so beautiful here. We had to pass one of the pools to actually get over to this side of the resort and right behind us right over there is another pool and isn't it just so like glamorous? Before I was telling you about how there's different buildings here, these are all the different buildings and it's just, I, I love it. I absolutely love coming here. And right there is Citrico's, which is one of the dining areas and then the Grand Floridian Cafe. And then those are the big suites right here. Aren't those so amazing? If you think my room is big, the uh, suites that are here at the main building, like the Princess Diana suite, it is so amazing. So beautiful, so elegant. I don't have any videos of that, but I have seen it before, and I was kind of like, wow. I wish I made a video. I wish I could stay there. Maybe they've got some fancy coffees in here, though. Who knows? We'll have to see. I mean, they always have nice treats, too, so they might have, like, a nice little uh, treat that we can get, too. Even though I probably should get a gingerbread shingle. Look at these gigantic cake pops they got here. They got cinnamon rolls down here. 
They've got Christmas cupcakes. Like I said, they always got nice things. And they do have some special coffee drinks. Oh, what's this down here? Ooh, that is pretty. I like those. I think I'll get myself one of these fancy specialty coffees, a caramel macchiato. Yeah, seems pretty interesting. Take our coffee outside. I like this. Nice little uh, caramel coffee macchiato. Oh yeah, that's good. Much better than the coffee I probably would have made in the room, but it did cost $5. We'll walk all the way out to the water and these boats right here these are the boats I was telling you you can rent out it's only like $45 for 30 minutes and you just go drive around Seven Seas Lagoon now the big one over there that's the grand yacht and that is a little bit more than $45 for 30 minutes it's actually really expensive there she is and I asked and they said it's $800 an hour and that comes with your own pilot so you don't even get to drive it but there is like a bed in there and everything like it's fully equipped you get your own like custodial or there she is the grand yacht eight hundred dollars an hour isn't that a that's like crazy isn't it and you don't even get to drive it yourself it comes with a pilot and you actually get like uh it like fully stocked too it comes with like food and drinks and there's a bed in there but eight hundred dollars an hour can you imagine taking that out and just sitting right in front of cinderella castle right there $800 an hour is a pricey price tag right there. That's like the elite status right there. I think it's kind of cool. I mean, it might be something nice to splurge for like a wedding or an anniversary, birthday or something like that. And I wonder if it's the same price to go out during the fireworks, you know what I mean? Because you can't rent the boats like for $45 for 30 minutes to go out for the fireworks. You actually have to get a firework cruise, which is $400, but that's up to 10 people. So $400 divided by 10 people is actually very affordable and it's a great view here at Magic Kingdom. I've done the firework cruises here and at Epcot and Magic Kingdom fireworks are way better than Epcot. You can see the sun is starting to go down a little bit. It goes down so fast. It's been getting dark here in Orlando around 5 30, 6 o'clock at night. So probably by the time we come back out and we go over to Narcoosies, which I probably should have pointed out, Narcoosies is like on the other side of the resort, like far from where we were. And it is so beautiful over there because you can get like firework viewing and you dine on the water. It's a, it's a very nice restaurant. Uh, but by the time we get ready to come out, it's probably gonna be dark out. Before we actually make our way back up to the room to get ready for Narcoosies, I noticed that they're doing a campfire and they're roasting s'mores. So I have to actually, I have to make a s'more. I mean, if you're here, you're here and they have fire, then make a s'more. And they actually have something super cool I want to show you. But first, I ran into Jane and she hi. wants to say hi to her daughter. Hi, Jane. Guess who I ran into? Woohoo! Oh, Dang. nice! <laughs> oh, thank Merry you. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. <laughs> that was so cool. Thank you, Jane, for watching the video. And I hope your daughter likes her little shout out. She wanted to say hi to her daughter, so I, I had to say, go ahead, do it. But anyways, I ended up getting a 50th anniversary s'mores kit. This costs $6. Now, when you do come here to roast s'mores, it is free. You get uh, like little tiny packets of marshmallows right here. They have like three regular marshmallows in there. But this one right here, this is a special one because it has like a blueberry marshmallow and a special graham cracker. So we're gonna make a 50th anniversary s'more. This is actually pretty fancy. I'm happy that we ended up getting it. And like I said, you can get regular like marshmallows for free, but this is like something like totally something special. We've got the uh, blueberry marshmallows there, a little 50th anniversary medallion, some sprinkles, and I think this is like some special uh, like graham cracker. So we're gonna go roast this marshmallow. Yeah. Fluffing up the fire here. Look at that. This is so cool. And I'm also standing where all the smoke is blowing. So <laughs> there we go. Just stick those marshmallows right in there. The blueberry marshmallows actually burned really quick, so we had to pull them out there fast. And now we're going to construct our 50th anniversary s'more. All right, here's our special graham cracker. And we're going to set this down right here. There we go. We're going to set the blueberry marshmallow in here. Oh, wait, no. We're going to put the 50th anniversary medallion on there. And then some of these little sprinkles here. 
there we go then we're gonna close it up just like that and see if it pulls out here oh yeah there we go 50 years right here and back in 1971 the blueberry marshmallows was like the thing I guess so we're gonna try it oh wow no lie that is so amazing six dollars well spent and honestly like the cracker is my favorite thing i don't even know what it is i have to ask because it's more like a cookie almost but wow this is good there we go now we gotta roast the regular marshmallows <laughs> that's the way a perfectly toasted marshmallow why I do say so myself I normally don't get the chance to actually show you guys the pool because there's people usually swimming in it but there's not anyone really over here now so I get to show you it look at how nice it is it is so pretty I love it oh and we actually have a bunch of uh, balls actually to play with too but this is a nice pool and there's a water slide inside that mountain right there Wow see what I was talking about it got dark so quick like super fast we made it back up to the room and like I said it is like super dark out now it's crazy how it changes like that but look at this view at night oh I love it this is so nice oh you can watch the boats going back and forth spaceship uh, well space mountain I almost said spaceship earth is all lit up and uh, I think we're gonna head down and get some drinks and maybe uh, dinner at Narcusi's I thought about wearing my bathrobe down in Narcusi's, but that would not be appropriate. <laughs> and now we have made it to Narcusi's, and I'm so excited. Isn't it so beautiful here? And like I said, it's out on the water. So this is actually a good spot to watch the fireworks, but I think the fireworks already happened. They started doing fireworks at like 8 o'clock, and I'm used to them around like 9 o'clock. So uh, I guess we won't know if we can see it from our room or not. Now we have made it to our table and I love like the inside of this restaurant. It is so beautiful and the ceilings are so high and my favorite thing is the bar is like kind of like down below. Like we're sitting at a table but if you sit at the bar you sit like above. I don't know how to explain it. I'll just show you. So this is the bar area right here and the bar itself is down there and just look at all the way up. It's so beautiful. I really do love it in here. I have eaten here before in the past. In fact, I ate here with my friend Beth who actually uh, convinced me to try swordfish for the first time. And it was so, so good. But I think that was a special because I looked at the menu and it's not on the menu anymore. But they do have some nice land and sea combinations that I think I might experiment with. I might try a little steak, a little shrimp. You know, who knows? Narcusis, it's known for their seafood and like their steaks itself. They do have a good oak fired grilled filet. So we'll just see, we'll, we'll, we'll gander at the menu. Here is a look at the menu. And like I said, it's kind of known for their seafood here. They do have some good appetizers. I think we're gonna get ourselves the uh, crispy Rhode Island calamari. I do love calamari, but uh, they have some Maine lobster bisque, uh, Caesar salad, and for the main event, they do have like Maui Maui, uh, blackened salmon, and then a lot of surf and turf options. And I'm thinking about trying lobster. Maybe a little lobster, maybe a little filet. Sounds like a good combination. It's $58, but if you want to upgrade to the filet, it's $19 more. So you're looking at like almost $70. So it's, it's pretty pricey, but you could just stick with like the six ounce sirloin, which is probably a good steak anyway. I decided on getting some of the calamari because it does look really, really good. And I am so shocked. It looks so pretty. I cannot wait to actually dive in. Here is the calamari, and it's actually served with a tomato culi, which I don't know if I said that right, but we're gonna try it. That's good calamari. That's good. This actually might be one of my favorite calamari dishes I've ever had. It is so good and the breading on here is so, so delicious and it's crispy and I love it. I mean, this is, this is good calamari right here. 
on top of the calamari. They also have a bread service, and the bread is actually really, really nice. It's a nice sourdough, and it's served with uh, some butter with pink Himalaya salt on it. So we're definitely gonna have some bread as well. Look at these little sourdough rolls. So, so cool. And this is the uh, pink Himalayan salt that I was talking about right there. That looks so good. Got to do the bread test here. Oh yeah. I can dig. <laughs> One thing I did want to point out, I said earlier about the firework viewing. Uh, you can actually watch the fireworks as you're dining here. Right outside is uh, Cinderella Castle. You can see it actually in the window there. So you can see the fireworks from sitting right here. For my entree, I decided to get the surf and turf, and I was tossed. Uh, well, I was torn between getting the shrimp and the lobster, but uh, the server told me that they actually poach the lobster in butter, and I was like, "Well, I gotta try it." And they were like, "Yeah, you have to get the lobster." So I got the sirloin with the lobster tail, poached in butter, and it looks phenomenal. Take a look at this bad boy right here. It looks so, so good, and the lobster tail looks phenomenal. I can't wait to actually dive into it. I ordered it a little bit of char on the outside. You know I love my char. I love my Pittsburgh, and a lot of places don't know that, like, how to cook Pittsburgh, so now I just kind of asked for it to be charred, and we got some mashed potatoes, some carrots, and I think we're just going to dive right on in. First things first, I think I'm gonna try the lobster. Like I said, it's poached in butter, but they do give you butter to actually like dip it into, but I don't think we're gonna need that. I don't, you know what I mean? So we're gonna try it here like this. Wow, I'm not a big lobster person, I have to say, but that is phenomenal. Holy moly. Just take a look at that lobster though, for real. It is so, so good. I'm so happy that I decided to actually get this as my, uh, well, surf option. I could have got, uh, I think they had uh, shrimp, lobster, and then uh, scallions, but this is the stuff right here. You know, scallions are a delicacy here. <laughs> I meant scallops, but it's still funny when I say it. Scallions, a very good delicacy. <laughs> Now it's time to dive into the sirloin, and look at that. This is actually cooked pretty well. I'm excited to try it, and you guys know I'm more about the ribeyes, so it's nice to try a sirloin, because I don't think I've had a sirloin here at Disney in a while, but this looks good. So here we go, we're gonna try the steak now. Honestly, I would say that that is a great steak for being a sirloin. It is so, so good. And they cooked it perfectly just the way I like it. And uh, I also like the carrots too. The mashed potatoes and carrots are such a good combination. Very delicious. Overall, I have to say I am very like happy with my meal today. I love the dining experience here at Narcoosie's and I would definitely get that lobster again and uh, the sirloin steak. I, I mean, I didn't get the filet upgrade, which was an additional $19, but the sirloin was like really top notch, like one of the best sirloins I had. And overall, this is amazing. I really liked it. After having that nice like surf and turf, I didn't want to get dessert, but our waiter brought out some macarons. Look at this. And it comes in a nice little golden case and it says Grand Floridian on it. And you can take these home with you. That is so amazing. I really think this is kind of cool, but I do feel like I need to try it. I need to at least try one. So we're gonna try them, but they do give you four. And this is like complimentary they gave this to me. Like, I feel really like special. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's good. I don't know what flavor they are though. Can't really tell because they're blue. I don't know, but they're very delicious. Well, that did the trick. And now it's time to start making our way back up to the room. So, so good though. I was really impressed with that lobster. The way they like, butter poach it, it was so, so good. Like, <laughs> but now I'm like, holy moly, very full. Now it's time we unwind and uh, go to bed. I mean, it's been a fun day and I'm so happy that I'm able to stay here. It's so beautiful. And honestly, 
I would never like book to stay in these rooms like this, like these gigantic two bedroom villas and stuff like that, uh, especially me being by myself. But uh, like this room itself was uh, given to me by Bobby and uh, the, his family and they already had this pre-booked and uh, if I didn't come and stay here because they didn't come down, they don't get reimbursed. This room just stays empty and they get charged and that's how it goes with a lot of these DVC points. I feel so bad because like I said, Disney just takes them away. They just disappear. They go away. Now, I did hear somebody told me that you can convert them over uh, to like maybe Hilton or something like that. So if anybody does have leftover DVC points um, and uh, you want to like get use out of them, there is like resources. I'm sure you guys know more about it than I do because I'm not even a DVC member. So I don't know much about it, but I do want to be able to have the information to give to people in case, you know, whenever they say, hey, we have extra points, I want to give them other options. You know what I mean? Because I don't want to see anybody lose points or points go to waste or anything like that. So if there are options, Options, you know, I would like to have the ability to give it to them But I am like grateful that I'm able to stay in these cool hotels or these resorts and uh, It's just really amazing. I mean and also I get to show you guys and I try to make like a nice like story feature or a story video of like my cat like my whole day experience when I come to the resort I try to stay in the resort do you know what i mean i try to keep it resort themed either going to like disney springs or anything like that i try to really give you guys a good tell of what it's like to actually stay here so i uh hope you enjoyed the video <laughs> i enjoyed making it i got my bathrobe on and good night